So with that, we are ready to find out the dynamic power dissipation, which is given by, we have already seen the formula, 1 by t, integration 0 to time t, idd, supply current into vdd into dt, which is equal to vdd by t, 0 to t, idd at time t into dt. Now we know that the total charge which has been transferred in one second from VDD to ground was nothing but FSW which was nothing but switching frequency into load capacitance into VDD. So let's put that here. The total charge transferred VDD into CL and this is over a time period T. So this is what it is. So this is nothing but TT cancel which gives me VDD square switching frequency into CL. Now we very well know that most of the gates do not switch every clock cycle. So it is very very convenient. That means that the gates don't change their input in every clock cycle. Most of the gates don't do that. So it is more convenient to find power dynamic or dynamic power dissipation in terms of the clock frequency. So we'll replace this FSW by alpha times F where alpha is an activity factor which gives us the value of switching and this is the clock frequency. Let's understand what is alpha in a quick example. Suppose this is my clock and this is my one cycle. In one cycle my clock goes once high and once low. So my alpha is going to be equal to 1 because it rises and falls in that cycle. So the number of times it rises and falls in one cycle that will give you the activity factor. So let's put that here, VDD square, alpha into F into CL and this is nothing but my dynamic power dissipation. In further clips we will see how to reduce dynamic power dissipation. Stay tuned and thank you very much.